Hey guys, Erin here with another video to show you how to use your Silhouette Cameo. Today we will go over how to use the font MF I Love Glitter. Now this has been used for, gosh, a few years now. Somebody found it, used it on a sign, and it just blew up. Everyone loves using this font. Um, sometimes with these fonts, especially if you're new to using your Cameo, you don't really know how to get all the little extras from it. So I'm going to show you where you can find that and how you would go ahead and use the font. So we're just going to go over to dafont.com. And in the search area, if you type in MF I Love Glitter or even just I Love Glitter, the font will come up for you to download. Now up here from notes from the author, she has a link to tell you how to use this font. She also has a link to purchase the licensing of this font. And if you go to buy the commercial use of it, it's $8. So if you're going to be putting this on items that you plan to sell to customers, please be nice and buy the commercial use of this font. It's rude not to. She took the time to make this and load it. Take the time to pay her for it. So and in this section, it'll also tell you how to use the font. You can also go back to defont.com and scroll down, and it gives you a character map on how to get the different items. So we're going to go ahead and pull that up. So I've already gone and clicked on it. So if we wanted to type in something like Aaron Loves Robbie, we would just type Aaron and then use the shift and the, I don't know, straight line, is that what you call it, key? It's near your brackets and under your backspace. And then Robbie, and if we fill that in with color, we can see how it would look. Take the cut lines off. Now, of course, this is all cursive, so you want to highlight it, right click, and weld it. And then, because I have the dots not holding anything, so I group it. That way, it all cuts right. So, another thing you can do is use a bracket and then type a name and use your other bracket. And that'll give you the little waves on the end. Of course, weld it in group if you need to. And then I think the other one was if you shift and hit your underscore, you get the other heart that's not filled in. So it's actually a really easy font to use, different ways to use it, different ideas. A lot of people like to use this one for um, like wedding stuff, which is cute. Asterisk, oh, not the asterisk. I'm not hitting the shift button, clearly. Now I can see on this one, let me zoom in so you can see, they're not lined up. So I would ungroup this first and then I would move this one probably about right there. So some things you got to pay attention to and fix it yourself so that it looks right. And then um, one of them that I forgot to tell you, if you hit shift eight or the asterisk key, you just get a heart that's just by itself. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Like I said, go to defont.com and it's MF I Love Glitter. You can get how to use the font with this link your purchasing license with the, the second link. And if you go down to the character map, it tells you 
what each button does. Or if you go to purchasing, it tells you there too. So asterisk for your heart, vertical bar for your solid heart doodle, underscore for the open heart doodle, that's the one that's not filled in, and your brackets for the swirls on the end of the letters. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I do try to answer those right away. If you have an idea for another video I should be doing, leave me a comment about that as well. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, happy crafting!